YouTube crew, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Now on screen here, you are looking at an absolutely insane PPSH class that you need to try out. And don't feel the need to pause the video or fast forward. I'm leaving this build on screen for you. I talk about a few tips to be successful with it, two attachments that you could potentially change based on your preference. And finally, my whole goal is to simply help you get better at Warzone. When I first started playing Warzone, I was a 0.7 KD. Now I have over a 4 KD on Rebirth. And every day I do videos to help you get better. So for today, we're going to be breaking down a 21 one kill win that I pick up using this PPSH class so you'll see it in action while also I'm going to be giving you some tips to get better. So in terms of things to keep in mind for this, first things first is notice on the muzzle it has a recoil booster not a silencer so you are going to pop up on the mini map when you shoot so you should be repositioning well and just keep that in mind that you are going to be on radar. The second thing is the fire rate. The fire rate is absolutely insane on this. That's really where the good damage profile comes in but it does lack a little bit of range so you want to be using your movement and your positioning to put yourself in more close quarter situations where you can really capitalize on that fire rate. Now, two attachments that you could potentially change based on your preference. The first is going to be the ammunition. I am going to click through here because I want to show you. The ammunition, I'm running incendiary rounds. Gives you that incendiary damage. Kind of gives you that damage after you stop shooting where it's still doing damage to the person. You can run hollow point if you want. If you struggle a little bit with accuracy, you can increase that limb damage. It's going to take off a little bit of damage range though. So, I'm running incendiary, but you can run hollow point last thing is i'm using this optic for the iron sights it's a really clean iron sight but you can put a pretty standard smg you know 1.35x optic on it or continue to use the iron sight as is so let's go ahead and jump into that gameplay breakdown real quick here i know the double shotties are broken they're super annoying to deal with but they are going to get nerfed very soon i do believe that we're going to go back to a pretty open close range meta so try out this ppsh build see if it's the right build for you and as i always say if you're looking to get better warzone take a few seconds make sure you are subscribed down below let's get into it so as we kick this off here, we see one person in tower, we see one person over to our left. So we're going to go in and challenge this person to our left. And this is going to be your first look at just how good this PPSH is. So you, there, you really see the fire rate's really good. I made this build to have really good fire rate and very oh, limited nice. recoil. Of course, we sacrifice it in the sense that we are on radar and a little bit in terms of the damage range. But overall, so we have really good fire rate man. and we have a really good and easy build to control. Now we're going to go ahead and push in here. We know there's two teams, so we have to be careful not to accidentally get third party. Not to put ourselves in a situation where we accidentally get crossfired. So I'm going to go ahead and push in here and just use my movement to my advantage. Tom Tommy and I are going to both push him. So I'm going to break that guy. Now I'm going to slide around this corner. I'm going to down and break down that guy. Get kill confirmed. Down that one. Slide around that corner again. And we just play super fast. We get the team right there. This is going to be the first example of where you really see how good this PPSH is in a 50-50 situation. Slide around this corner. Get caught in a weird spot. And you just see how good that fire rate is. How good those incendiary rounds are. And we have five kills already. We have seven teams still up. And of course, we have a 71 round mag, which is really good for trios and quads. Now we're going to go ahead and push this way. We're going to pop Deddy. Not really sure where he is. You're again going to see a really good example of how good this PPSH is. Right after this one, I lose aim assist here. Unfortunately, I'm all over the place. But I'm going to go ahead and turn... Pull out this way, pull back. We're going to replate, we're going to reload, and then we're going to get back in and have a pretty nasty double kill right here. You're going to see, again, how easy it is to control, how good that fire rate is. You can see a little bit with the damage range there, but look at these incendiary rounds. I downed this guy after the fact because of those incendiary rounds. That's where I love them. They're really easy to use. In terms of your perk 3, by the way, let's talk perk 3 when using this. You can either use Combat Scout or Amped. It really depends on preference. Combat Scout makes the incendiary rounds a little bit easier to use, in my opinion, because of the fact that you kind of lose track when using those incendiary rounds but this game i actually am using amped it ends up not being an issue so i'm going to go ahead and push this guy to the right hog's going to push the one to the left i see him pushing into bottom living quarters you're again going to see how i use my movement to my advantage here just constantly playing, constantly keeping them guessing. I'm going to break that first guy. I don't see him there. I'm going to slide around this corner. Now I see him, but he's facing the other way. He's pushing the other way. So I check that corner. I don't see him. Now I'm going to check again. Boom. I get it. I finally get it to a point where I see him clearly and I get him caught. So I'm going to go ahead and get that down. Now we're going to turn this corner here. See the second one. Boom. We get the down and thirst. And notice this third teammate is pushing up. So I'm going to go ahead and push back. I'm going to push around. Keep repositioning, keep playing fast. I'm going to get to a point where I can reload and then replay. And I hear him stick to res. I hear him stick to res, but I'm not really in a spot to challenge this right now. So now I'm going to start pushing over. I'm going to go in now that I'm replated and reloaded. We're going to challenge. I get the thirst there. We get one teammate down behind us, or one enemy down behind us. And now we're kind of in a weird spot where we need to buy UAVs. 
Yeah, yeah, let's just keep... We so it's been a lot going on at this point, but now we're really going to slow down a little bit here. We got 10 kills, we have 6 teams still up, and this game's going to slow down when we stop okay, figuring out where people are. We're going to lose track of a bunch of people. We know there's a lot of people backside this way, so we need to get on the other side of the map. But right here, real quick, again, watch the incendiary rounds. There's probably example number one of you see a little bit of that range, where it struggles a little bit about at that further range. But again, if we can put ourselves in good positions where we're using our movement to push in closer to enemies, that's where we're really going to capitalize on the PPSH. And that happens a lot in Rebirth. So I'm going to go ahead and push this way down below, try to see what I can find here. And again, you're going to see just how good this is. I'm going to turn the corner. I know he's below me in showers, so I'm going to be careful here. This is a really weird push down the stairs. And I get him with the throwing knife. I almost stopped shooting there, which would have been a huge problem. That's actually going to happen again. It's a bad habit that I got myself into. I got you got to shoot till you get that person down and not anticipate that. So now I'm going to go ahead and push left here. I know this person is below me. I just don't know if they're out in the open pushing up or if they're below in basement. Now I hear him below in basement. I'm just going to wait. Boom. There you see, again, the fire rate in the incendiary round combo is just absolutely insane. I mean, the fire rate on it is crazy. As I mentioned earlier, I know the double shotties are broken right now. I am anticipating them getting nerfed very soon, at which point it's going to be a pretty open close-range meta. And I'm a huge believer that you should use, the to a certain extent, you should use the gun that you are best with. It could be the MP40. It could be the PPSH. You just got to try out different builds and see what you play best with. So see what you... See if this is the gun that you play best with. See if you like it. See if you feel comfortable with it. You never know. Now, I push this top. Uh, I push top prison. I don't really see anybody. So, I'm kind of caught in a weird position. This is where I start talking about the game slows down. Because I don't know where anybody is. I know there's people below me. But not really in a good spot to challenge. So, I'm going to quick heartbeat check here. 16.7. Now, I hear him below me. I'm going to go in and challenge. You can fall there. Just keep that in mind. That's the second time that I get away with the throwing knife because I stopped shooting. But I'm going to go ahead and push up this way. I'm getting sniped at from kind of bio or it was somewhere over that area. So got to be careful about that. I'm still pushing around here. I know there's people around here. I just don't know where they are. I can't find them. So we're going to go ahead and push roof now again. Circle back and we're finally going to see this guy. We see him straight back. Now this is an example of where the range on the PPSH is actually decent. You know, that's, that's pretty good range for an SMG. Especially when we're using something like the Bren that's just absolutely oh, melts in that kind of medium to long range right here. Look at this. I mean, that's just insane. I'm actually currently shadow banned. That's probably why right there. That's probably why I got shadow banned. Who knows? So I'm going to go ahead and push down here, plate up, use this as an opportunity to go buy a UAV. We get the perfect timing with the fire sale, which is going to allow me to... To buy one, go pop ready, one, ready. buy another one, and we're going to get a bunch of people ready, over this way. Ready. See the person on top, Nova, have to be careful there. That person's going to be an absolute headache. They're out of circle. They're in a really bad spot. And if I reloaded, I'd probably get that person down. But what ends up happening is they're just going to linger there. They're going to be a huge issue. Now, I see one kind of down below by, uh, by buy station over here. So, I'm going to push over. Boom. We're going to hit shots there. And I want you to notice, let's start talking about pace here, right? Let's start talking about how I'm pushing. Now, I see one above me. So, we're immediately going to start to go challenge that. I hear him pushing down the stairs. Boom. I'm ready. We get the break, and that, I don't know what that guy had. That guy hit me pretty hard there, but I need the second plate. So I'm going to go ahead and get that second plate, push over here, and I want to buy plates right here or get this person's plates. But this guy is still sitting top Nova, just not moving, and they have to move with circle. So I'm trying to keep that in mind and balance those two because I want to really hold them out of circle. But I also don't want to wait. You know, they don't really have to move for another, you know, 30 seconds or so. So I don't, I'm trying to balance the two. I'm going to go ahead and push up here, buy some plates so that I can be fully plated again. And then we're going to keep pushing. Now, what I'm really nervous about, what I'm paying attention to right now is actually this team in prison. Notice how quickly they're moving over to me. And I get this guy here. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge this way. I'm going to get the thirst. And now look at their rotation. They are right above me. So I'm in a really bad spot right now. I'm going to get the down. Now there's one straight down lane. I'm going to get the second down. I'm going to go in and challenge that guy down lane above me with the Bren and keep playing quick. So I'm going to down that person. I get the redown. And unfortunately, this team rotating from the backside of me ends up getting me. So we have 20 kills right there. I fast forwarded when I flew back in. I unfortunately went down to this guy live pinged right here. Preds does a great job of clutching up that situation. He's going to go in and res me. And I specifically fast forward to here because I just want to talk about this end game real quick. We have two other teams. Let's see. We're all live. So we have two teams, four people. I know that there's guns right there. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. I'm going to quickly get plates for my teammates. And then we're going to be in a... 
we're going to be in a good spot. This is a little bit of a weird spot with this circle pull, but notice we can really hold circle at this point. We have two teams, three other people, and I have 20 kills already. Now, part of me says just hold. Part of me says let's keep going. So I'm trying to rotate over, trying to see what I can find. I have cover to my right, right if I need it, but I'm trying to bait them a little bit to see what I can find and use that sniper. But at this point, it's a 3v1, so I'm going to go ahead and push up here. And we're just going to wait for this person to rotate out of control. We know they're in there at this point, so we're just going to rotate. We got all the angles covered. There's the 21 kill win. Try out this PPSH build. It's absolutely insane. We put an absolute heater as a squad right here. I'm not even going to try to do the math. I don't know. What is it? 34, 40, 52 kills as a squad. Hope you found today's video helpful. Try out this PPSH class. Let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.